Ooh, now we snatched, snatched the house. Oh, hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет. I'm a Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually review and do tutorials of affordable, inexpensive makeup from AliExpress, drugstore, dollar store and such. And I'll test it on my eyeballs and my face and I'll be a guinea pig. I'll pass the savings to you guys. This is the video that I'm doing with another YouTuber. Her name is Christina Collins. She's from UK. I'm from LA. It's a real cool relationship with friends in the same makeup group and we do a collaboration with the makeup palette M -M Mitchell. It's a wonderful palette, keep on going back to it, it's beautiful, it's colorful. We do a makeup roulette so we didn't know what we're gonna get picked and you already can see in my face obviously but you don't know which colors. So I'm picking colors for her, she's picking colors for me with a random picker and we're gonna be creating looks with what we get. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, it helps me, and leave me a comment. Let's get right into this video. So this is my second collab with one of my friends. Uh, her name is Christina Collins. The first one was with Teresa Mulhern. I'm going to link this video up here. Uh, we did this, uh, I would say, a couple of months ago. It was so much fun. I saw her in person after that when I went to Dublin and we became best friends just right away. I love Teresa. And Christina is just as sweet. Uh, we've been talking a lot off camera in the messenger. I really like her, enjoy watching her videos. If you guys never heard of her, never seen her videos, please do check her out. I'm going to list her video in my description box, uh, the one that she's doing with me, and also list her channel and link her channel up here so you can see and check her out. Uh, Christina does a lot of uh, Makeup Revolution hauls, which I so much enjoy because I love Makeup Revolution. I like, I would say it's my overall favorite brand because I haven't seen anything from Makeup Revolution I don't like. Maybe one palette, but anyway. <laughs> so I really like her hauls. She has a huge Makeup Revolution collection and she does a lot of simple looks and glamorous looks as it says in her description. Uh, she's in UK, if you don't know that. Uh, I'm in LA, that's why we can't collab in person as many of my uh, sexy sausage friends uh, from UK. Uh, if you don't know, I belong to a makeup group called Sexy Sausages. <laughs> that name got um, to us from Missa. Make me up Missa channel. She's amazing and we're all her uh, patrons on Patreon. And she's an amazing makeup artist, sweet girl. So we've been following her for a long time and she organized the WhatsApp group, the Facebook group, and we've been doing videos and Zooms together. We all became friends. So many of us have uh, YouTube channels, some of them older channels, some newer, and all the girls are amazing. Uh, I'm going to link some of the girls once in a while in my videos so you don't get confused who's who. But today I'm doing collab with Christina. So what we decided to do is the makeup roulette. And the makeup roulette is like, you know, know what you get. And to make it more interesting, I suggest that I do hers and she does mine. So you get the app and the app is called Random. It looks like this, the R. And it does all kind of random number selection. So the Mama Mitchell palette we both have. So that's what we settled on. It has so many beautiful colors, right? Right. So when you do a random color selection, you would land on some bright tones, you would think. Hmm. You know, funny enough, neither of us did. <laughs> I was like, darn it. I landed her on neutrals and she landed me on neutrals. So this is a palette. So how I count it is from here down to here, one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and you know, down to 16, and start here with 17 and go down. So they were numbered. So I'm going to play you the receipts and delete tweets <laughs> right here, the video of her selection. I'm going to show you on my hand the swatches of the makeup uh, colors I'm about to use. So first is 11, 9, then it's 23, 25, 8, and 17. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 would be this. 11. Next one is 9. 9 is Muse. This was Mr. H. The Muse is this. This one is most promising because it has depth. And this one, next one is 23. 23 is on the other side. 23, it's the least interesting color. Matte. So matte is literally matte. Why do we put matte in his spout? So that's the matte. That's really neutral. Next one, you got 25. And 25, at least we're getting some shimmers here. It's marine. This one. The only thing is with the shimmers in this palette that I don't like, they're very chunky. Very chunky, see? It's like snowfall, like dandruff. But if you just lay them right, it should be okay. So that's next one. Then we have two, eight. Eight is another shimmer. We're going right from marine to muffin. So that's uh, eight right here. And this one is more pink. The marine is more like a bluish, kind of dual coral me. This one is like a pinkish and golden together. So that's another one. And I got, uh, well, we decided to choose six colors. I forgot to tell you. So then we got, so next one is 17. And 17 was main. This. So that's the last color. So this one kind of looks similar to this because in the same uh, tonality and the same density. But I think I'm going to go start with this too and maybe go for the low lip in this. And since the colors are so boring, we're going to go interesting with uh, the placement. I want to do a uh, cut grease, full cut grease, which I don't do that often because usually I don't really like full cut grease, but Sometimes when uh, inspiration strikes me, I'll do it. So I already primed my eyelids. I have full face makeup and I primed with P. Louise Base 05 Rumor. And it's greasing a little bit, but it really works well, this color. So I'm going to start with one of the eyes on camera and I'm going to continue with the other one off camera. So I'm excited. Let's try it. Also me here. So I'm going to start with a small brush. I'm using dress up brushes for this. I want to start with a pencil brush just to um, shape, kind of a sketch the shape. So this is a Lux Pencil 230 from Dress Up. And I'm going to go in right into Muse. This dark, dark kind of burgundy brown. And since we're doing cut crease, I'm just looking ahead. And I'm going above my crease right off the bat. Because we're going to be cleaning up the space below. Yeah, they're going to be fallout, but I'll just brush it off. Just make sure it's very pigmented because we want the pigmentation. So next I'm going to take a fluffier brush just to blend it out a little bit around the edges. Not too big. I like this one, the 231 Deluxe Petite Grease Brush from Jessup uh, Brushes. And I'm going to go with a clean brush and just blend out the edges a little bit. So I'm going to go right with the same brush. I'm going to go into Mr. H. Oh, that's pretty. All right. It looks better on the lid than it looked on my swatch on my hand. I'll use another uh, brush a little bigger to kind of blend this all together. I have this... Uh, Soft Definer 227. So I'm gonna dip it back into the Muse, the darker color, just slightly, very slightly. 
So I took a Q-tip to clean up my uh, grease. So I create clean canvas where I'm going to cut grease. So I'm going to take one of my flat brushes that came from BoxyCharm. And this is a Luxie 246 precision, precision grease. I'm going to the same P. Louise base. See, it's already kind of uh, mapped out. Just Q-tip and my cell water cleaned up. So I'm going to take a little bit of base on my hand. I'm just going to pat it on. I don't like the base too thick because I don't think it's useful. I think it just creates extra goop you don't need. So I'm just going to paint the line and spread it out. And then I'm going to use a dry sponge. All right, I cut my grease with Peelwee's base and now uh, the shape looks all right. So I'm going with the shimmers. So I want to make it really shiny, the main lid, and then blend out uh, the liner with deeper tones. So I'm going to take a flat brush that from Just Upset. Probably the one that says cream shader, but it's good for digging out those uh, shimmer shapes. So I was thinking about marine or muffin, marine or muffin. And I'm thinking, well, marine and muffin. I'm going to mix them together because one of them is pinkish. The other one is like a kind of bluish gold green. So I can create like a multicolor. So I'm going to put this brush into one and another one and the other. And now we can pack both. Yeah, it's very chunky. That's the only problem with Mama Mitchell. So I did a little something to the other eye already. So what I did was I laid the shimmer on and it came out really reflective. I'm really living for this. It's a little chunky, but you have to really press it in. But uh, for the low lash line or upper lash line, I want to use a little angle brush. This is a cheap brush from e.l.f. by the way. It's very convenient. I like the way it's angled and it's pretty thin. It's not super thin, but it's good for smudging color. So I'm going to create the same kind of lines, the same tones on my, uh, as a liner. Um, I put a little bit of peel base, so it has something to grab on, because I didn't want to leave shimmer there, because the shimmer would interfere with the map. So I'm going with the Muse. This is the same shade I laid in my new crease. So you see how it lays on peel base really well. So I'm creating the same line on both eyes and keep on making it more and more intense until it builds up intensity. And then I'm going to go with the lighter, Mr. H. And we're going to do the same kind of thing we did in the above the crease. So that's what we got for now. I wouldn't say um, they're completely even, but more or less. That's what happens when I do both eyes at the same time. They always come out a little more even. <laughs> There's something about it. So now I still have two colors that I haven't used. Two. And those are the meh and main. Main is a little better than meh. Meh is just meh. I always ask why Mama Mitchell put the color that's named meh into his palette. Why? <laughs> All right, going to the main. I'm using just a brush, and this is the detail shader 237. And I'm going to use this in my low lash line. That's the only place in my balls it's not covered yet. <laughs> so this is going to be the first color, the second one I'm going to blend into. Um, I already have Jumbo White Milk Pencil from NYX in my waterline, and a little below, so it grabs. So now we're going in with this color. This is very pigmented. Actually, it's very pigmented. Kind of regret I didn't use it in my crease. It looked like it was lighter than the other one, but now I'm looking. It might be slightly deeper. I'm going a little below lash line, if you noticed, because I want to open up my eyes. And I feel like if I go just below, it's going to make my eyes look bigger because I have white pencil in my waterline. And the dark does not touch my lash line. It goes just a little below my lash line. So now the same brush. I'm going to clean up slightly in the color switch. I'm going to the last color, matte. And I'm just going to smudge it and blend into the other one.
Yeah, so now my lower lash line looks a little more bronze brown and my upper lid looks a little more pink. But that's what you got and that's what we're using. So what ha happened was I decided to go with a different eyebrow shape. If you guys know me, I have microbladed eyebrows, which is like a natural shape for me, but the ends are pointing a little down, but my eye shape that I created are pointing up. So I took a little concealer, a lot of concealer. I used the Revolution Pro Camouflage. It's pretty darn good. It's hard to cover up tattoo. You know, well, I want a tattoo for obvious reasons because I want eyebrows. <laughs> but now if I wanted to change my eyebrow shape, I have to cover it up. So I covered it up and I drew my eyebrows just a little higher to kind of like help the shape. And I think it's working. I can still see the eyebrow through a little bit, but now I'm going to highlight the brow bone and maybe I'll cover it up completely, hopefully. And let me just get a brush. See, I'll just use the same flat brush so I don't have to wash too many brushes. So this is a brush I packed uh, the shimmers with. So I'm gonna use just the edge of this. And I think I wanna highlight with marine rather than uh, muffin. Or well, should it go with muffin? I think it should go with muffin because it's more pinkish. And my colors here are more pink. And I think muffin has better texture than marine. If you guys ever swatch marine, it's like very, very chunky. And muffin just a little more fine. So we want a little more fine texture. So let's see. Ooh, now we snatched. Snatched the house. Oh, I'm kind of sort of starting to live for this look. Because first when I look at my colors that I got, I'm like, where are the purples? Where are the greens? Where are the blues? <laughs> None of them. And uh, Christina's colors are similar family, like a warm tone family. So I can't wait to see what you do with it, Christina. And if you guys, again, if you guys haven't seen her channel, please go subscribe and support. Her channel has a card on my, uh, right here and also in the description below. I love the friendships like that and it's a true friendship it's not some kind of BS that people meet each other on YouTube hey I subscribe to my channel go check out mine well it's kind of okay but it's like I don't know you but we developed such a great relationship me and all the girls from the sexy sausages so it almost feels like they're the best friends I ever had I don't know, I know it's weird because I only met in person two of him and Marie and Teresa, but they're also sweet, they're like, I just love them home. And I want to support, and I want us and our subscribers to support all of the sausages <laughs> with channels or without. Uh, I'm gonna go to the inner corner. Maybe I'm gonna go with Marine. It's chunky. It's chunky funky, but we'll see. Oh girl, she's chunky the house. You know, you go through phases where you go from uh, simple looks and all of a sudden you want to go with the creative looks and do all kind of weird crap like I've been doing. Um, I did the uh, Harry Potter challenge and I created the green dragon look and it was posted on my Instagram. I didn't do the video, but... That took a while to make, but it was so much fun because I look like a creature from hell. <laughs> if you guys are interested in my dragon look, here's a picture right here. I'm going to put it up. That was me with eyes closed and the dragon eyes drawn on my eyelids. That was so much fun to create. I used surgical tape to create texture on my face and all kind of crap because I don't have face paints. So I just make up stuff, I kind of fabricate stuff out of nothing. But that's what I love about makeup. You can create something literally out of nothing. Okay, so that's what happened. I think uh, the initial look is done. I spent quite a bit of time off camera, make sure everything's blended. Uh, I'm not a fan of full cut crease on my shape, but every time I do it, I'm like, why am I not a fan? I really love it. It's just like kind of quite a bit of work and I'm not a big fan of this chunky shimmers from my Mitchell palette. The mattes are great, but the shimmer I'm like, ugh. 
but I mean, it looks nice. So I'm going to go off camera, do the eyeliner, eyelashes, mascara, and that's gonna be a finished look right here. Okay, I finished. So this is the look I came up with. Yeah, it took me a while. And I decided to add the silver glitter. It's just simple AliExpress glitter with a tiny, tiny brush. I wanted to have some kind of jewel look, but to add the jewels would take me forever. So I decided to put little dots, you know, on the tiny brush, but bam, 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 very easy, very fast, and creating something extra. So the colors that I got from my random picker were very neutral. Since they're very neutral, I wanted to create something extra just to make it a little bit more interesting. So this is the final look. I decided to put my hair up to give it a little bit of a interesting look. I've been into the hair up lately. I don't know. I'm just feeling it. And my big earrings, they're not as big as you would like to be. And you know who you are. <laughs> One of my subscribers keep on telling me to get big hoop earrings. I can't find them. I gotta go find them. The 10 centimeter ones. Yeah, that would be look that would look fabulous. But anyway. Here is a full cut crease with a glitter, uh, with dots, look bejeweled, and all kind of things. So yeah, I'm living with this. Actually, I like it a lot. So Mama Mitchell palette is really, really bright and colorful. But today we worked with one, two, three, four, five, and six. So pretty much all neutrals and it worked out. It came out actually really nice and pretty. I thought it was going to be worse, very boring. So this is a look I created. Uh, please, please do check out Christina's uh, channel. Again, it's uh, linked in my video and it's listed linked in the description box below. Her video with the same palette and the same makeup roulette that I gave her. I picked the numbers for her, so it's going to be listed below along with the channel. Uh, she's very sweet, she's very lovely. I love watching her videos, I love watching her hauls and her makeup looks. Uh, my recent favorite is 1940s look that she did for the V-Day, uh, for the Victory. It's, it looked very authentic. She even did the hair in 40s style. I mean, it was like, wow, it's really, really cool, really cool. So I really enjoy watching her videos, so you will too. So go check it out, subscribe to her channel, like this video, and like her video. See? Promotion. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed to me yet, do please subscribe to me as well. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Don't forget to ring notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload. And like this video, please do comment. I enjoy the conversation. Leave me a comment. Let me know whether you have this palette. It's really inexpensive. It's from Beauty Bay collaboration with Mamma Mitchell. It's always on some kind of sale. Well, sometimes. Usually, even the regular price is really great, even for my cheapskate um, tastes. <laughs> it's a good palette. So go order it on Beauty Bay if you haven't yet. It's a real good buy, even from US. You get very inexpensive shipping or even free shipping sometimes. It's amazing. All the colors you get are wonderful. Um, so comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.